here is L.A. Spencer's whore. <laughs> now, Tony wrote in, one of our viewers, with my favorite line about this. He, 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 had, he put the first picture up there. Uh, he sent it to us, and then he said, apparently it's a crime to sleep with her. To me, the real crime is not getting to. <laughs> Damn straight, Tony. Damn straight. <laughs> the real crime is that the man has a dick. Okay, I know, I know. It's I say this all the time, so I'm not going to belabor it, right? Because if he had committed another crime, uh, you know, pe people wouldn't have gotten all this up in arms, and you got to resign within 48 hours. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. If it wasn't a crime of the dick, <laughs> he'd have been scot free. Right? Unless he absolutely positively had his hand in the cookie jar and he was stealing millions of dollars from the state of New York, then he might get a similar kind of treatment, but he'd probably have time to explain himself and go to a trial and see how that worked out. But if it's a crime of the dick, boom, everybody explodes. Ark, you get out! 48 hours! <laughs> okay. And Chris Keller made an even better point, actually. Uh, he said, yeah, apparently, he said I, he got all worked up and said he's got to go, and he felt it was wrong. You know, it's you're enforcing the laws, etc. Said, but you know what? I screwed up. I want Spitzer back. And the reason he decided he wants Spitzer back is because he's like, look at this. The man is so honest, so not corrupt. He pays for his own hookers. He's like, that's not how the Republicans would roll. <laughs> they would definitely have the Folks that, they're, that are bribing them pay the hookers, which, by the way, is literally true. That's what happened with Duke Cunningham and, and, and all the other people that were involved in that scandal. There was a couple other Republicans there, and the people who were bribing them would pay for the hookers. And that's also what happened with, get a load of this, and what nobody talks about when they talk about these hooker stories, and it drives me crazy. I thought about the same thing as I was reading his post, and then he wrote about it. I was like, oh, okay, I love this post. Uh, Neil Bush, the president's brother. You remember that story? He's in Asia. Girl locks on his door, a hotel door. This is the company that paid him a couple million dollars for what he said in this. This all came out in his divorce proceedings. He said, oh, I don't really know what they were paying me for because I have no expertise in that area. This was back when George H.W. Bush was president. Gee, I wonder what they're paying him for. It wouldn't be to have access to the U.S. government, would it? And basically, Neil Bush admits, of course, that's what they're paying him for, right? So, but they didn't just pay him a couple million dollars to have access to his daddy so that he can get some U.S. Co contracts, right? They send this woman to his door, and he opens the door, and he says, oh, hi, how you doing? She says, oh, I'm good. I'd like to have sex with you. <laughs> and the lawyer's like, you didn't think that was odd that an attractive Asian woman just showed up at your door in your hotel and wanted to have sex with you? He said, I, 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 I thought it was a little unusual, yes. Uh and they're like, what'd you do? Oh, he said, oh, I fucked her. I fucked her hard. <laughs> and did you pay for it? He's like, no, I figured it was taken care of. No, but th there it is, though. There it is. Real corrupt people have their whores taken care of by somebody else. Spitzer was so clean, he paid for his own hookers.